All right, guys, thank you for joining me again. This is the Cats Pajamas here broadcasting for IPL Season 1, a loser's bracket round one match between FXO Chef, our Blue Zerg player here at the 12 o'clock position on MLG Metalopolis. He is currently down one game to nothing to his opponent. Down here at the 6 o'clock position, Complexity Star Life. So Star Life is our green Terran player. We are spawning cross positions. Star Life in game number one, Winning mostly on the back of how many workers he killed. He went ahead with some Hellions in the early game. Or actually went ahead with a first. Let's back up a little bit. Actually went ahead with a good number of Marines and a little bit of bunker pressure. He didn't go for a two Rex, no gas opening. Just sent whatever Marines he had off of his pretty traditional opening. And killed a couple of workers, then swung around with some Hellions before, did some damage. FXO Chef, though, did not overcommit, and he actually put up a bunch of roaches after that, decided to counterattack. Unfortunately for him, Star Life was able to hold, even though he lost a lot of SCVs. And I thought right there that Chef actually had the upper hand. But Star Life swings around with three Hellions and just murders Chef's economy at his natural, just murders it. So now, let's see what Star Life has in store. Looks like he's going after a pretty traditional 10 supply, 12 racks, 13 gas opening. Again, no sort of double racks bunker pressure or anything like that, although we've seen that marine bunker pressure is certainly not out of the question for Complexity Star Life, even if he decides to put up that, that uh, pretty normal gas. So Chef, once again, fast expanding. He has a drone coming up after this as well. And it looks like he's going right into a spawning pool. So a 15 hatch, 15 pool. And he'll put up gas after that here in just a second. As soon as he gets up that 16th drone. Back here on Star Life side of things. He is finishing up that wall. Running out with his SEV at the moment. And that SEV is going to scout like a madman. Looks like he is going to go actually cross positions first. I take that back. He's actually going to the Zelnaga Tower. He does see... Oh, yeah. He sees exactly where the Overlord is coming from. So he has to know exactly where his opponent is. And he's going to send out that SCV to check and confirm. So now here's a Marine coming out. If this Marine could get a free Overlord kill, that would be huge! And he's attacking with all of his might. Chef, though, has an opportunity to get onto the high ground here with that Overlord. Quickly making up that distance. Another Marine being brought up as well. Stalife trying to get in there. Two Marines now. Is he going to have enough? The Overlord is almost going to fall. It does stay up. And now Stalife is forced to bring all of his Marines around. And Chef could get off the edge. We'll find out here. This is going to be pretty close. Oh, man. Early game Micro Wars. Let me tell you. Overlord. Going to take some more damage here. 10 health. There it goes. Overlord does fall. Chef was prepared for that, though. He's not Supply Captain. He is putting up another Overlord. He's going to Fast Roaches one more time. Really loves his Roach opening. And the Zerglings are actually going to get in here and kill the Marines. So I'll trade you an Overlord for two Marines, apparently. Marine turns around just a little bit too late to do any sort of significant damage. Star Life, on the other hand, going after a more traditional 1-1-1 build. This is a very late second gas. But he doesn't have any tech add-ons for any of these structures. SCV gets in. Nice scouting. Passes right through the queen, of course, because he was selecting some minerals there. And Stalife does indeed see the Roach War. Knows exactly what his opponent is going to go for. It looks like he himself is going to do some drop play. Well, Stalife up with a couple of Hellions. Producing yet another one. Does have a medevac coming out as well. And let's see now, as these Hellions make their way up, how much damage they're actually able to do. There's not a lot of drones up at the natural. Just four. And the Hellions do get out of the vision of the Overlord there. And I don't think they cross the vision of this Zelnaga Tower as well. But he's still not going to risk it, not going to push in. Now more drones have been pulled over to the natural expansion. And once again, Sheth is going to move out with six roaches. But at the same time, Star Life is going to move in with this medevac. This is spotted. Let's see if Chef turns around. No, looks like he is going to attack. 
Don Life, on the other hand, is going to continue with this drop. Here come a couple of queens, and the queens are going to take down this medevac pretty quickly. Stall Life, though, with that superior speed. Oh my gosh, the queens are caught off creep. There the units are getting dropped down. Here come all of the Zerglings. The Zerglings not really doing all that much damage. Now the queen are going to move up, try and take down the Marines, but this is a lot of damage being done by Stall Life. Here come the Roaches, though. The Roaches do take out... No, they don't take out the Supply Depot. Stall Life holds just barely, and two Roaches have already fallen. A third Roach has gone down as well. This bunker is doing so much damage to this Roach attack. And Sheth is denied, losing a ton of units once again. Take a look at the units killed. 22 units killed for Stall Life versus the 13 for his opponent. <coughs> so Stall Life now going over to Cloaked Banshees at the moment. And it looks like he's going to send his factory to the back as he puts up another barracks, morphing in his orbital command at his expansion, that being constructed inside of his base. Here comes Banshee number one, though. Do we have layer tech yet? No, we do not. And Stalath is going to have to back away. Smart decision. Wait until cloaking is done, which is done now in two seconds. There is an evolution chamber coming up as quickly as possible. And Sheth could lose his queens here. This is very bad for Sheth. Looks like another queen coming up to do some transfusion, but... Oh, does get off the transfusion. Very nice. Star Life is still going to pursue, though. Sheth moving off of Creep. There's already another Banshee moving in. That's going to continue doing damage. Creep Tumor's going down. This Queen is going to fall. Queen's going down all over the place for Sheth, who is putting up a ton of Sport Crawlers. My good God. Really does not want to die to this Banshee pressure, but he is sacrificing a lot of economy to do that. He has now lost four Queens. Here comes Star Life. Looks like he's going to go after... The sport crawlers just kill as many workers as he possibly can in the short term. Moving away now. Looks like he is, well, he just ran out of energy. That's the reason for the uncloak. Uncloaks his other banshee, though, and he is moving up with a third. As even if they're being attacked with their super high DPS, banshees can do a ton of damage. So let's see here. Chef is seating down his eighth sport crawler, actually seventh. Looks like he moved one away. My good lord. And this evolution shaver just not, well, there's nothing that really has a response to this. Only one queen is coming up, and that's the only anti air for Chef. He is going to aspire, but it's going to be a very long time before he's able to make that up. And Star Life is just not being pressured at all. And these Banshees have 11 kills between them at the moment. They have killed four queens, multiple drones, and an evolution chamber. That is critical. And it looks like Star Life is going to move back in. And Chef is going to pull back, but he doesn't. Wow, a fifth queen goes down. And Starlight's going to have to pull back for a second. Can't risk moving in. And there we go. Now the hatchery is now in danger of falling down. Chef could be down to two bases very soon. Here comes out a big amount of bio forces for Starlight as well. And yes, indeed, another queen is just about to go down. There it goes. Bad position. For Chef to be in a sixth queen falls. He's putting up another three queens at the same time. But it looks like Stall Life is now up by 11 supply. He is doing so much damage. He actually hasn't killed the economy as much as he has all of the production. There's almost been no larvae put up for Chef whatsoever. And here comes Stall Life. He's going to move back in. He has his medevac behind this. This is going to take a lot out of Chef to be able to hold. It looks like he may just... Go into the main note. Looks like he's going to try and take out these sport crawlers first. So that these banshees can move back in and do some good damage. Star Life, it looks like he wants to finish off this hatchery. No, he's going to pull back into a choke point. Very smart. Killing so many units. There's the stim. Chef pulls all the rest of his units. Queen's going down once again. That's now eight queens that have been killed. Star Life has his forces cleaned up. But it doesn't matter, as this queen's going to go down as well. Star Life can't pull into range of the Spore Crawler, though he's got to watch out. And Star Life picking up that Marauder one more time. He is going to pull back. Star Life now up by 30 supply. He is in a commanding position. Looks like he himself has gone to five racks. And he's producing siege tanks and a raven. So marine tank raven build coming up. 
And look at this! Seeker missile is being researched. Star Life, though, putting up a third base of his own. It's the only real disadvantage he has is that he's actually down in workers, but of course, with the double orbital commands that are currently in play, it's going to be pretty easy for him to uh, be ahead in economy here. It looks like he is actually slightly up in economy as a result of that. Uh, Zergling taking the Zelnaga Tower now. And Sheth trying to go to a bailing nest. He does feel the mass marines coming in. I don't know about you guys. I'm certainly waiting on the Seeker missile. Oh yes, two ravens out. We all do love Seeker missile. One raven is ready to rock. Almost with one of those. The other one has a little bit of energy to go. Oh. And let's see here. Stall life up with a bunch of bio forces. And is he planning to move out? Looks like he might be here. A bunch of Zerklings moving around for Sheth, who has not really been able to tech up. He is down now by 34 supply. He does have an infestation pit coming up. I think is a nice gesture. The Zergling, Baneling, and Fester build so powerful against Karen now. And Stalllife is going to clear up all these Zerglings. That was just a bunch of kills for free, basically. Star Life jumps ahead by 35 supply altogether. Here comes the big attack, though. Ravens moving behind. Oh, yes. Ravens with Seeker missiles ready. Here come the Zerglings out of Sheth. Oh, Seeker missile. And let's see. Here it is. Oh, the Bailings are hurt so bad. The Bailings are forced to back up. Now, so many Bailings went down as well. Yes, Seeker missile. Investors falling down all over the place. Chef is going to lose his third. And there, the rest of the Marines are doing some good damage. A lot of the health on the Banelings has been recovered. The Banelings will get a pretty good burst, possibly. Looks like a Raven up with another Seeker missile. It is ready to go. Let's see if he moves out with that. Looks like he's going to pick off a Queen. He's going to try and get in another Seeker missile. There it is. Here comes the Seeker missile. And... Oh! Is it going to blow up? Yes, it does. Doesn't actually kill that many units, but still awesome to watch. Spine crawlers falling down now. Star Life stems one more time. Pulling back to his siege tanks. The Banelings actually making pretty short work of a lot of this bio. But this tank now has 21 kills before it goes down. Star Life going to kill so many units there. And Sheth is down to 67 supply. Star Life is already ready to move in now with all of his banshees. Sport crawlers are getting cleaned up pretty quickly. There is an overseer out though. And here comes Stall Life. He is going to move in and try and pick off those. Oh, yes, doing a great job of picking off Infestors. And their two Infestors do go down. Made that attack totally worth it. Stall Life already moving out with another group of mass Marines. Those Marines on 0 0 upgrades, but plus one weapons is just about to finish. Stall Life putting down his next command center at his gold, it appears. And it looks like he will be cleaning up this Overlord down at the bottom right. But here he comes now, moving in. And Infestor's going down. Didn't have a fungal growth ready anyway. Stalllife not even stepping up with the rest of his forces. There's the stem now as all of the drones get killed. There are the GGs out of Sheth. Sheth is eliminated from the IPL. And Stalllife advances to loser's bracket round number two. So thanks, guys, for joining me on this one. This was Cats Pajamas for the IPL broadcasting loser's bracket round one action here, season one.